This video is just a brief bit of raw information about piezoelectric tweeters. Should you want to look into critter control, as in squirrels, or hey, even maybe neighbors' dogs? If you know more than I do about this, please give me some information. I'd love to have it. However, I'm a technician, and I can tell you the following things about piezo tweeters. They're high-frequency speakers. Piezo tweeters will reproduce from the mid-range frequencies on up to about 30 or 40,000 cycles per second. It seems like you could run off almost any kind of critter at those frequency ranges. A frequency of 20,000 cycles per second seems to me to be a perfect frequency, as it's just above human hearing range. Piezo speakers have already been used in devices, like Barkoff devices, but they have limited effectiveness. What if you had, I mean, I'm just trying to come up with some new schemes. What if you had more transducers, like a lot of them, instead of just one or two? Would it work better? Piezo tweeters are very cheap. Street-grade piezo tweeters are about 3 to $4 a piece. You can get a mail order if you need to. So you can experiment with them easily, and if you blow one or two out, it's not expensive. If you use a big amplifier, it is easy to blow piezos out. However, if you want to spend $25 for a piezo made by CTS that has internal blowout protection, it won't blow out. To get high sound levels, you need a certain audio voltage across the terminals. One way to generate this kind of voltage is by using a power amp of 30 to 75 watts. The watts are not needed, but a power amp of this size and power generates the voltage needed. You see, piezo tweeters are high impedance. They use almost no real power, but can generate over 90 decibels of sound with small power. They're very efficient. But don't send a pure tone through the tweeter from a large amplifier, as the tweeter will get hot and smoke out. It'll just burn up. Use a pulsing tone. This is my idea, anyway. I, I think you should use a pulsing tone because it'll generate much less heat in the tweeter, and it won't burn out as easily. It'll still be irritating. Another note, there are super tweeters that exist that will generate over 100 decibels of high-frequency sound. I'm not sure at this time where to get those, but I've read about them, and I know they exist. Please let me know if you have more specific info, and I'll pass it on.